Hello, good morning everyone. The last class is discussion about the concepts of find the or derive the expression for electric field at a point due to the axis of dipole. Axis of dipole. That equation is the electric field E is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught 2 or P divided by R square minus A square whole square. That is the equation is E is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught. That is the constant 2 or P divided by R square minus A square whole square. This expression is called electric field due to the at a point on the axis of dipole and the second one is find the electric field or derive the electric field at a point on the equatorial line of the dipole system that is the equation is the equatorial line means e is equal to minus 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught that is p divided by r square plus a square power 3 by 2 r square plus a square power 3 by 2 the negative sign it is indicates that the directions of electric field and dipole system uh, the negative sign is the dipole system and electric field is equal and opposite directions and this is the expressions for electric field due to the axis of dipole and uh, equatorial axis of dipole and equatorial line and uh, one more uh, derivation is in the last clause what is the torque acting on the dipole system in presence of external electric fields that is the, the torque acting on the dipole system is symbol is tau the torque means it is a force into displacement that is called uh, torque the tau is equal to that is the p e sin theta p e sin theta the torque acting on the dipole system in presence of a electric free line that is a tau is equal to p sin theta that is a one of the derivation uh, and uh, today we will discussion about the concept of electric field concept of electric flux not field electric flux the symbol is pi pi is the symbol of electric flux see the what is the definition of electric flux first the what is the definition of electric flux see the this is the surface the surface is consist of so many electric field lines it is the direction of the electric field line is it is a horizontal horizontal means it is taken as what is the direction of the electric field lines it is a cos theta the direction of a electric field lines is horizontal that means cos theta sometimes the electric fields or the direction of the electric field means it is a vertical direction it is taken as angle is sin theta hmm? this the diagram shows the electric field lines the direction of the electric field lines is it is a horizontally that is the angle is cos theta hmm? this is the surface this is called surface the electric field lines is in moving along x direction that is a horizontal direction what is the definition of electric plus the symbol of the electric flux is pi the electric flux is defined as the product of component of electric field line the product of component of electric field line and normal surface area on surface area of a surface area or area element area element area element the product of electric field line and area of the surface that is called electric flux the electric flux is, is defined as the product of the component of a electric field line along the normal of the surface area normal of the surface area that is called electric flux that is the equation of a the electric flux is the electric field lines is a the surface area is capital a the direction of the electric field lines is that is the cos theta the direction of the electric field lines is cos theta that is the equation of a electric flux now first of all what is the meaning of electric flux that is the electric flux is defined as the product of component of a electric field line along the direction of 
along the the normal of the surface area that is called electric flux that is a electric flux equation is that is phi is equal to e into a cos theta where e is the what that is a electric field line a is the area of the surface pi is the electric flux cos theta is the the direction of a electric field lines huh? cos theta is the the direction of a electric field lines that is the theta theta is the angle between the directions of e and a area and electric field line what is the si unit of what is the si unit of a electric flux the si unit of a electric flux is the unit of electric field the unit of electric field what is the de particular definition of uh, electric field the force acting for any positive charge the unit of a force is newton the unit of a charge is coulomb inverse area is meter square newton coulomb inverse meter square that is the si unit of what the electric flux huh? electric flux the electric flux it is defined as it is a product of electric field line and area is called electric flux what is the expression mention the expression for mention the expression for electric flux the electric flux through the given surface through the given surface what is the expression draw the one surface that is the surface the surface is the surface is consist of the area element is taken as delta a delta a is the area element the electric field line this is called electric field line e is called electric field line the area of the the area of a surface element is that is taken as that is a a is the area delta a is called area element then the theta is the angle between the surface electric field line and surface element the direction of a electric field line that is the resultant electric field line that is e cos theta e cos theta that is the expression that is a diagram and explanation of a electric flux through a given surface that is find the what is the total electric flux the total electric flux can be written as that is pi pi is a total electric flux first to write the flux through a area given area the flux the flux through a area element is it is delta pi is equal to that is the electric field line is e the electric field line is e the direction of a electric field line is cos theta the area element is delta a this equation is called that is the electric flux through a given surface given element that is the flux through a first to write the the flux through the area element delta a is given by delta pi is equal to e cos theta delta a then find the what is the total electric flux find the total electric flux the total electric flux is equal to sum of the sum of the electric flux through the electric flux through the area element that is delta phi delta phi or pi is equal to summation the delta pi is e into delta e cos theta this equation is called that is called total electric flux through the any given surface that is pi is equal to summation e into delta e cos theta is called the total flux through the the total flux pi total flux through the any given surface huh? that is the concept of electric flux the total electric flux means pi is equal to summation e delta a cos theta the unit of a electric flux is newton coulomb inverse meter square the definition of a electric flux is the product of electric field line and area is called electric flux the direction of a electric electric field lines is that is the horizontal direction at the angle is taken as cos theta the equation of a electric flux is that is phi is equal to e a cos theta e a cos theta that is the concept of electric flux and next concept is coulomb's oh sorry gauss law gauss g a u g a u s s is gauss law what is the statement of the gauss law what is the explanation of a gauss law that is what is the first statement the statement of a gauss law is the total electric flux that is the pi pi is a total 
electric plugs the electric plugs is it is a closed surface it is a closed surface according to the gauss law stress that the total electric flux through a in a closed surface in a free space is equal to the 1 by epsilon not 1 by epsilon not times of a total charge that is total charge this is the statement of a gauss law according to one more one second the gauss law is states that the total pi is a total electric flux in a closed surface in a closed surface in a free space is equal to the 1 by epsilon not times of the total charge 1 by epsilon not times of the total charge that is the statement of gauss law that is where that is epsilon not is the permittivity of the free space epsilon not is the permittivity 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 of a free space permittivity of a free space and q is called total charge or net charge total charge or net charge and pi is a electric flux electric flux pi is called electric flux there is a value of permittivity is that is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 10 power minus 12 Parad meter inverse 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 parad meter inverse parad meter inverse. That is the statement and explanation of a Gauss law. Statement and explanation of a Gauss law. How to prove this equation? That is a proof. How to prove? That is a proof of the Gauss law. That is the proof. How to prove? First, to draw the one surface, that is a closed surface. The surface is consist of that is a single point charge that is taken as Q. The O that is the Q is the single point charge. And draw the one electric field line. The electric field line is called that is capital E. The area element is delta A. Delta A is called area element, and A is called area of the surface. Area of the surface. The radius of a, the radius of a circle is that is a taken as small r. Huh? The radius of a, the this circle is sphere is small r, and the q, the charge, single point charges is acting at the point o. This is the explanation. Huh? First to draw the consider the sphere or the circle, the isolated positive charge. Q is the isolated point charge. is acting at the point at o and the sphere of a radius is small r the electric field line is it travels horizontally the e is called electric field line and the delta a is called so is surface area surface uh, area surface area element delta a a is called surface area first to write the what is the flux through the area element delta the flux through the area element delta a is given by first of is what is the the flux through a the flux through a area element area element delta a is given by the flux through a area element delta a is given by flux means that is the delta phi total electric flux means that is the phi the delta pi is equal to that is the e that is electric field line the presence of electric field line E, the direction of a electric field line is cos theta and delta a is called the uh, area element that is the first equation hmm? first to write the the flux through a area element delta a is given by delta pi is equal to e cos theta delta a and but the direction of a electric field line is it is a horizontal direction that is the angle is theta at right, angle is theta the cos zero The cos zero is one. The cos zero is one. Substitute this value in the above equation. Delta pi is equal to delta pi is equal to e into cos zero is one. That is delta a e into delta a e into delta a. That is called equation number one. That is called equation number one.
then the flux through a gaussian that means the total electric flux is given by the total electric flux is given by that is pi is equal to summation delta phi the total electric flux pi is given by summation that is pi is equal to summation delta phi substitute the value of delta phi flux value that is pi is equal to summation the delta pi value is e, e into surface element area element delta e area element is delta phi that is e is a that is a vector quantity that is take outside that is e into summation delta a e into summation delta a that is but the summation delta a but the summation delta a is called what that is area of this spherical surface area of a spherical spherical surface the delta summation delta a is called area of a spherical surface that is value is 4 phi r square 4 phi r square that is the above equation is written as the phi is equal to e into e into the surface area is that is 4 phi r square 4 phi r square that is in this equation but e is the electric field line e is called electric field what is the expression for electric field due to the single point charge that is the charge is a single point charge q is a single point charge that equation is the e is a electric field line the expression, the expression for electric field due to the single point charge is given by 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught single charge is q according to coulomb's law the square of distance between them according to the coulomb's law square of distance between them the e value is substituted in previous equation number 2 that is called equation number 2 that is the total electric flux the total electric flux pi is equal to the e value is 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught into q by r square into as it is same 4 phi r square 4 phi r square that is 4 phi 4 phi get cancelled r square r square get cancelled finally therefore electric flux is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into net charge 1 by epsilon naught into total charge of the given system given circle this is hence the proof that is the phi is equal to q by epsilon naught therefore hence the Gauss law hence the proof that is that means the conclusion of the this equation is called pi the total electric flux in a closed surface in a free space must be is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of a net charge 1 by epsilon naught times of a net charge this is the proof of verification or proof of a huh? Gauss law once again listen that is first what is the statement of a Gauss law according to the law states that the total electric flux in a closed surface in a must be is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of a net charge that is the statement of a Gauss law what is the explanation first to write the equation that is phi is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into q epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space that value is called 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 parad meter inverse q is a called net charge or total charge pi is called total electric flux total electric flux how to prove this equation first to draw the on spherical surface the spherical surface is consist of a electric field line direction of a electric field line is it is a what horizontally e is the electric field line the area element is delta e and the single point charge is q is acting at a point o and a is the surface area r is the radius of the circle radius of the circle first of is what is the electric flux what is the electric flux through a 
area element delta a the flux through a area element delta a is given by delta pi is equal to that is e electric field line is e the direction of the electric field line is cos theta in presence of area element is delta e that is called this equation is called electric flux through a area element but the direction of the electric field line is that is the horizontally that angle is zero if theta is equal to zero that is substitute the value theta value cos zero cos zero is will get one the cos zero is one delta pi is equal to e into cos theta that is the cos theta means that is cos zero one into delta e that is called equation number one next step what is the total electric flux through a given surface the total electric plus through a surface is pi is equal to summation delta pi pi is equal to summation delta phi or pi is equal to summation delta pi value this value delta pi value substitute this equation that delta pi value is e delta e e delta e or e into summation delta e that is a e is a vector quantity that is take outside that is a summation delta e and the that is the summation delta e is called area of this spherical surface the summation delta e is called area of this spherical surface that value is called 4 phi r square 4 phi r square that is pi is equal to that is e into 4 phi r square substitute this value in Prabhu previous equation that is pi is equal to e is as it is 4 phi r square that is called equation number 2 e is called electric field line e is a electric field line but e is a that is electric field line that means the electric field due to the single point charge is given by that is e is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught q by r square 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught q by r square but pi is equal to the 1 by e value is 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught into q by r square into as it is same 4 phi r square 4 phi 4 phi get cancelled r square r square get cancelled r square r square get cancelled finally the pi is equal to that is 1 by epsilon naught into q huh? that is the total conclusion ends the four that is the total conclusion of the this proof is the total electric flux must be is equal to in a closed surface must be is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of a net charge 1 by epsilon naught times of a net charge that is the concept of that is the proof and the statement of a Gauss law there are uh, two applications of uh, Gauss law there are two applications two applications of a Gauss law first one is first application is that is the find the electric field find the electric field due to on infinitely infinitely long straight long straight charged wire long straight uniformly charged by by using a Gauss law by using a Gauss law that is the first application that is find the electric field due to the infinitely long straight y long straight charged y by using a Gauss law first to draw the and y first to draw the one electrical wire this is called electrical wire that is consists of two ends end A and end B it is end A and end B it is the shape of the wire is that is a cylindrical the shape of the wire is cylindrical draw the cylindrical shape cylindrical shape it is the two ends end phase 1 end phase 2 end phase 1 end phase 2 it is consist of number of positive charges it is consist of number of positive charges the length of a cylinder is it is taken as small l the length of a gaussian cylinder is taken as small l the draw the electric field line the electric field line e 
is perpendicular to the y draw the the electric field line e is perpendicular to the well, infinitely long straight y and the distance that is a o that is a p is a point and the distance between that is this point p and this position is called that is taken as small r the radius of this circle is the cylinder is that is taken as small r that is the explanation and diagram of a infinitely long charged wire once again the ab is a ab is a infinitely long wire e is a electric field line p is a is a point at a distance r from the y r is a small r is a radius of the gaussian cylinder and l is a length of the cylinder length of the cylinder the number of charges q is a number of charges is enclosed by the cylinder let lambda be the where lambda be the that is linear charge density linear charge density linear charge density first to write the first of is as it is the electric flux through the gaussian surface is given by how the electric flux through the the electric flux through the the electric flux through the the area element delta a is given by that is delta phi is equal to electric field area is e area element delta a and cos theta that is called equation number 1 as it is same the presence of area element that is called delta a what is the electric flux the electric plus through a the gaussian surface is given by pi that is delta pi is equal to summation ha huh, delta pi is equal to e into delta a cos theta e into delta a cos theta then what is the total electric flux the total electric flux the total electric flux is given by that is pi is equal to pi is equal to summation delta phi or summation delta pi is e into delta e cos theta but that is the value of but the theta is equal to the direction of the wire is the direction of a wire is that is that is horizontal direction that is angle is 0 cos theta is 1 that is e is a take outside uh, summation delta e summation delta e that is the summation delta e the summation delta e is called that is a area of the surface ha huh? area of a area of a surface area of the surface that is what is the length of the cylinder that is l what is the radius of the cylinder that is a or the total circle is 2 pi that is 2 pi 2 pi or l is the that is the area of a surface 2 pi or l is the area of the surface substitute the value the total electric flux the total electric flux the electric field line is e that is the area of the surface is called 2 phi or l that is called equation number 2 equation number 2 by using a gauss law statement what is the gauss law the electric flux in a closed surface must be is equal to 1 by epsilon not times of q that is equation number 3 equation number 3 comparing equation 2 and 3 comparing equation 2 and 3 will get that is pi pi get cancel that is e is equal e into 